safe placement of the treadmill. Make sure to set up the treadmill with at least seven feet of clearance from walls and furniture at the back and at least four feet of clearance at the front and sides of the treadmill. Never place the treadmill with the back of the running belt against a wall, door, stairs, or any other obstruction. 10 minute assembly guide. Number one, install the base frame end caps. First, lay the treadmill base frame on a flat non-slip floor. Locate the four screws on the outside rear of the treadmill base frame. There are two screws above each of the two non-skid feet. Using the hex key, remove the two screws on the left side of the base frame and align one plastic end cap with the two screw holes. Reinsert the two screws to secure the end cap. Repeat all these steps for the right side of the base frame and use the hex key to ensure that all screws are fully tightened. Number two, attach Velcro strips to the crossbar. Loop one Velcro strip around the left side of the crossbar and one strip around the right side. The smooth side of the Velcro strip will face to the inside of the treadmill. The hook and loop side of the Velcro will face to the outside of the treadmill. Loop just enough of the Velcro strip around the crossbar to be able to close the loop. The rest of the strip will extend straight out, creating a Velcro tab. This tab will be used to attach the fabric side panels. Position the two loops a few inches from the base of the crossbar. The loops should be loose enough that they can be repositioned along the crossbar if necessary. Number three, attach the crossbar to the base frame. Insert the base of the crossbar onto the two round inserts on either side of the treadmill base frame, just behind the motor housing. Place a washer onto one of the screws. Insert the screw washer combination through the screw holes on the left side of the crossbar and into the base frame. Repeat these steps to attach the right side of the crossbar to the base frame and use the hex key to ensure that all screws are fully tightened. Number four, attach Velcro strips to the sidebars. Note that the two sidebars are identical until the Velcro strips are applied. Then one will be the left sidebar and the other will be the right sidebar. Set one sidebar on the ground on the left side of the treadmill. Loop four Velcro strips along the sidebar in the same manner. The smooth side of the Velcro strip will face to the inside or the left of the treadmill. The hook and loop side of the Velcro strip will face to the outside or right side of the treadmill. Lay the right sidebar on the ground until the next step. Number five, install the sidebars to the base frame. Insert the left sidebar using the Velcro tabs facing the outside or the left side onto the rounded inserts on the left side of the crossbar and on top of the base frame. Put a curved washer onto one of the screws. Insert the screw washer combination through the screw holes in the left sidebar and crossbar. Don't tighten the screw yet. Place another washer onto another screw. Place the screw washer combination through the screw holes in the sidebar and base frame. Don't tighten the screw just yet. Repeat all of these steps to attach the right sidebar to the right side of the crossbar and base frame. Use the hex key to fully tighten all screws. Number six, attach the fabric side panels to the sidebars. Identify the left fabric side panel by recognizing the Velcro tabs on the back side of the fabric side panels facing to the inside. The tabs on the back side of the left panel face right. The tabs on the back side of the right panel face left. Stick the bottom strip of Velcro on the back of the left fabric side panel to the corresponding Velcro strip along the left side of the base frame. Stick the five Velcro tabs on the back of the left side panel to the corresponding tabs on the left sidebar and crossbar. Reposition the tabs along the sidebar and crossbar if necessary to line up the Velcro. Repeat all of these steps to attach the right fabric side panel in the same manner. Number seven, install the T-knob and T-knob post. Screw the T-knob clockwise into the threaded insert in the side of the T-knob post. Do not fully tighten the knob yet. Locate the metal tube running along the right side of the treadmill base frame. Align the T-knob post with the two screw holes. 
The lip on the T-knob post goes up. Reinsert the two socket head screws to secure the T-knob post. Finally, use the hex key to fully tighten the screws. Number eight, install the console. Ensure the console cable exits the bottom of the adjustment post. Pull the end of the cable out of the bottom of the post if necessary. Next, insert the adjustment post into the T-knob post. Pull the console cable through the bottom of the T-knob post. Next, connect the console cable with the corresponding cable exiting the right side of the treadmill. Turn the T-knob clockwise to tighten it and secure the console and adjustment post to the treadmill. Last but not least, customizing the treadmill. If you're wanting to adjust the console height and the viewing angle, follow these steps. The console may be raised or lowered and rotated from side to side for easy viewing. Number one is to loosen the T-knob by turning it clockwise. Next, slide the console up or down to the desired height. Rotate the adjustment post from side to side until the console is facing the desired direction. Tighten the T-knob by turning it clockwise to secure the consoles in place. Adjusting the incline of the treadmill. The treadmill deck can be tilted to three different incline levels, including 4.5 degrees, 5.1 degrees, and 5.7 degrees. The treadmill arrives at the lowest level. To adjust the tilt, twist the two incline adjustment knobs counterclockwise to loosen them. Hold the base of the treadmill with one hand, and with your other hand, pull the head of the knob out as you pull the incline adjustment post down. You will hear a click when the incline adjustment knob clicks into the next incline level. Repeat with the second knob. Adjust until the incline is at your desired angle.